All right, everyone, welcome back to another review on Everything iCafe. Today we're going to be reviewing a new app, just came out this week, called Brewster. I'm going to launch it up here. What Brewster allows you to do is connect multiple sources or services in order to have your contact information um, all in one place. So what does that mean? That means you can do things like updates uh, as far as when people's birthdays are or you know people you haven't talked to in a while, choose favorites, and from this app, all in this app, you can call them, email them, text message them. Basically everything you can do from the actual contacts or phone app on the iPhone, uh, but uh, a lot more as well. So let's start with the favorites. Uh, that's what you see here on the, on the bottom, so if I can uh, kind of have that come into focus. Um, what this will let you do is choose which of your contacts are favorites. So if you go ahead and click add on here, it'll bring all your contacts up and you can go ahead and multiply, uh, multiple select these. Okay, uh, You hit the check mark in the top right and that will put them in your favorites. From here, you can actually click on one. It'll bring up that person's picture and tell you where it's from, so LinkedIn for example. Um, and on the bottom here, you could see there's a bunch of information about that person, phone numbers, emails, all that kind of stuff. Recent, we'll just show some recent activity uh, activity that you've done on the app. I, I haven't actually done anything from this app yet, so mine's blank. If I go to the update section, you'll see that it will give you updates. If you pull down to refresh, there's a cool little animation that happens. And what it'll do is automatically place people the first time that you add all your services into these different groups and different kind of uh, lists. So let's say uh, most mutual connections. Um, there's a lot of those, so let me scroll down. Um, and then maybe as I get down here, a little bit more. I have uh, stuff that says uh, losing touch, things like that. So you can actually, uh, you know, keep in touch with those people. If you hit search, you'll be given a list of things that uh, people have in common with you. And if you hit search people, you can do something like type Brian and see uh, whoops, all the Brian's that you have uh, in your contacts across all the services that you've linked up. Okay. Oops. If I go to lists, these are automatic lists that the app's created. So these are called smart lists. Notice at the top is everyone, then there's some new contacts, trending, losing touch, frequently connect, uh, contacted, uh, mutually connected, uh, friends, industry friends. So you see there's a lot of different stuff here. If you go over to my lists, uh, you'll be able to create a list and you can add people to that list uh, on demand. And those lists will be uh, stored right here for you. And then if you go over to your tab, what you can actually see is all the services that you have linked. So notice I've connected Facebook, Gmail, iPhone, Twitter, LinkedIn, Foursquare. All my contacts from all those places are kind of synced up in this one place. Um, so depending on how many places you have one person, that person will have more information uh, within this app. So that's basically it. Pretty simple app. Uh, so far I like it. I've been using it. Um, when you actually click on someone, you can, like I said, call them from there, email them from there, text message them. Um, so I've been using this instead of the phone, and uh, it's been working out pretty well. I, I you know, check some updates when, once in a while. You can see birthdays there, so uh, one-stop shopping. And uh, like I said, it's a pretty good app. So I think it's going to gain some traction. Um, you should give it a try if you don't mind linking it up with all those different social networks and uh, your Gmail account. And I hope to see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this review. Bye-bye.